they did it again. Hi everyone, thank you so much for checking out this video. If you're new here, my name is Stephanie and I cover oily skin, hooded eyes, and beauty. So welcome back to my pressed powder foundation wars. Today's episode three. And if you're watching this in the future, I will link all of the videos down below for you. I'll be testing out six drugstore pressed powder foundation for your oily skin. And for each of these, I will be testing them out with primer and then without primer. So let's get into the pressed powder foundation number three, and that's gonna be the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder. This powder is ideal for normal to oily skin, this long-lasting powder leaves a natural, poreless-looking finish with a long-lasting shine control. I tested this pressed powder out for two days, and day one is my first impression with primer, so let's roll the tape. I got the color 120 Classic Ivory. I went ahead and matched myself online, so hopefully this works out. Like always, let's do a smell test. It doesn't smell like anything. I expected this to be a square. So anyway, it does come with a sponge applicator, just like all of the others so far. This one is pretty soft. And just like the others, I'm gonna use this, just test it out, see if I like it or not. I'm gonna use it on this side, and then I'm gonna use my other powder brush on the left side. Also, I am Classic Ivory for the liquid foundation, so I mean, it should match, but it just looks a little light. Let's go ahead and feel the texture. It's nice and soft. Okay, let's finally get this on. So I totally forgot about putting on concealer first. I'll be right back. All right, so let's get back to putting this on my face. Very dusty. <laughs> um, and it didn't oxidize, that's nice, I like that. Of course, just like all of these applicators, the foundation is really just going to be sitting on top of my skin and not actually sinking in to look like real skin. So I will definitely be going over this with my brush. But so far, I think this looks really, really nice. This is also a really good coverage. I really like this. Of course, you're not gonna get like this full coverage from just the powder foundation, but I feel like it's a good medium coverage. So now I'm just gonna do the left side with my brush. I really want this to emulsify with my oils, with my skin and the primer that I put on this morning or right before I hit record. Okay, so this is looking so, so good. Of course, I am still looking very dry, but um, I will go ahead and do the rest of my makeup, set my face, and then, of course, it's winter time. Like, it's getting really, really cold out and dry out, so I do have some dryness going on on the nose area. So far, I really like this, and I love this coverage. It's doing a really good job, and it still hasn't oxidized, which is perfect. So let's go ahead and do a close-up so you guys can see everything. Here is my forehead the right side of my face, and the left side of my face. I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. So I'm back with the rest of my makeup, so let's go and take a look at my face. So still, this has not oxidized at all. And then the little dryness that I had around the nose is definitely died down just because of course I used my setting spray to set everything and then just like kind of pat everything in. So it looks so, so good. And I just look so smooth and so velvety and, it looks so, so nice. Like, I am really, really liking this. Okay, let's go ahead and do a close up so you guys can see. Here is my forehead, the right side of my face, and the left side of my face. All right, I am really, really loving this so far. But of course, the real test is to see how it wears all day. So, I'll be back to let you guys know. So, it's been about 10 hours. So, let's go and take a look at my face. So you can definitely see that my oils have come through, but it actually looks really, really nice. Nothing looks patchy, it doesn't look like it's creasing, I don't see any cakiness going on. The coverage is still there, the medium coverage, it has not gone away. I did take a little nap, but everything looks really good. 
I did have some foundation just come off on the sides of my nose, but that's because I'm me and that's always gonna happen. But it does not look bad at all. Like this just looks still so, so flawless as it did earlier. <laughs> um, and I did forget to mention earlier that my pores actually looked filled in. Like they don't look huge. They do not look ginormous. I am actually really, really liking this. So let's do a close up so you guys can see. Here is my forehead the right side of my face and the left side of my face. So I am really, really impressed with this powder foundation and I can't wait to see what it looks like tomorrow without primer. So I'll be back to let you guys know. Today's day two and I've been wearing my makeup for about 10 hours now. So let's go and take a look at my face. Just as a reminder, I did not put on any primer today. I did run a lot of errands. So I was wearing my mask for the majority of the day. So there was a lot of sweating going on. So just to let you guys know. So I really think that this foundation held up. My oils have come through, but it looks really, really nice. It has come off on my nose, but I mean, I was wearing my mask and sometimes underneath my mask, my nose gets kind of runny. You know, it's really gross, but it happens. So there is just some of my foundation missing on my nose. But other than that, I think it looks so, so good. My pores still look very, very good. I don't look cakey at all. I am really, really loving this. Let's do a close up so you guys can see. Here is my forehead looking really good. Here's the right side also looking really good. And then here's the left side. Day two. A success. Throughout the years, I have learned never to question the Maybelline Fit Me collection because, oh my God, it is just amazing and it never fails me ever. But y'all know that I had to put this to the test and I mean, y'all guessed it, y'all saw, I freaking loved it. This powder definitely does everything that it promises to do. It blurs your pores. It looks very natural and it's just so, so beautiful. I definitely think that it's worth the $7.99. It is a beautiful foundation on its own, but today I am wearing it on top of foundation and I think that it's a great setting powder as well. I freaking love this one and so far, I think this one is my favorite one so far, um, spoiler. So let me know down in the comments below, have you guys tried out this pressed powder foundation or anything from this line? Let me know down in the comments below, what is your favorite? And then if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up and subscribe for more content. I do upload every Wednesday and Saturday at noon central time. So keep an eye out for that and thank you guys so much, bye.